Hello everyone, my name is Pragya Devan and you're watching Voice News Network. Here are the top stories for today from Brampton, Canada. Good news for riders across GTA who travel by GO Transit. The Ontario government has announced cuts to transit fares in a GO Transit co-fare agreement with several municipal systems. This will be in effect from March 14th. Local transit, including MyWay and Brampton Transit, will be eliminating the double fare for riders who are connecting to and from GO Transit. Riders will not have to pay the local bus fare. The province says it's another way to make life affordable for commuters. To add to this, the province also said that presto discounts are coming for students beginning March 14th. Fair discounts for riders between 13 and 19 years old and post-secondary students will increase to 40% of the full adult fare. Go Transit is also introducing an affordability pilot for low-income riders on March 14th. It will start with Peel residents enrolled in the region's affordable transit program. Riders using a Presto card with an affordable transit program fare type will be reimbursed for 50% of the adult fare when travelling on Go Transit. Brampton's Mayor Patrick Brown says that severe flooding in Brampton in the month of February could cost taxpayers over $15 million. This comes after the city of Brampton issued a request to the provincial government for emergency funding last week to help cover the damages and clean-up costs. Provincial officials were in the city last week to survey the damage. Mayor Brown says that no decision has been made yet, but he has warned the residents that in the absence of provincial aid, the full cost of the flood will fall on Brampton taxpayers. According to Mayor Brown, provincial emergency funding would help cover at least some of the cost for approximately 100 residences and homeowners affected by the floods on February 17th. Most of the damage to homes occurred on the banks of Credit River in the Churchville area of the city. All residents forced to evacuate have since been allowed to return to their homes after several days of cleanup efforts. If you have received a text message claiming to be from Service Ontario asking the recipient to click on a link to receive a $120 refund, beware. Peel Regional Police are warning the public of a texting scam going around involving Ontario license plate sticker refunds. Police are reminding the public that Service Ontario does not send refunds through text. The provincial government recently eliminated license plate sticker renewal fee and said that it would issue refunds to residents who renewed their stickers between March 1, 2020 and March 12, 2022. If you are one of the residents who have renewed their stickers within this time frame, then you should visit Service Ontario's website to see if you are eligible for a refund. Service Ontario says those eligible will receive a refund check in the mail. Peel Regional Police say that a pair of businesses in Brampton were robbed within the span of an hour on Tuesday, March 1. The first incident occurred at a pharmacy near Horontario Street and Mayfield Road around 6.55 p.m., while the second was reported from a business near Queen Street East and Airport Road around 7.50 p.m. Police say that no injuries were reported. A gun was reportedly seen in the first incident, while at least two suspects allegedly had access in the second incident. Police say that property was damaged in the second incident. Police are searching for three male suspects who reportedly fled the scene of the pharmacy robbery in an unknown direction. And that is it in today's bulletin. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an update.